Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, three identical uh, circles fully inscribed uh, in a rectangle A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of each of these uh, circles is uh, pi square units. O, P and Q are the centers of these uh, circles, whereas uh, these points uh, E, F uh, and G are the points of tangency. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of the yellow shaded uh, region. This uh, area, this area, this area, this area, this area, and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow shaded region inside uh, this rectangle, and now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, yellow shaded region is going to be equal to the rectangle ABCD area minus uh, the area of uh, all those three circles, as you can see in this given equation. And now we know the area of uh, the circle is uh, pi square units. So therefore, now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, rectangle uh, a, B, C, D. And here's our next step. We are going to calculate the radius uh, of uh, these uh, circles. Since all of these circles are identical, so we are going to calculate the area of this circle. Let's assume that the radius uh, of this circle is uh, lowercase r. And now we are going to find the value of this radius r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius. And the area of this uh, circle has been given to us as pi. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So pi area is going to be equal to pi times uh, r square. And now we are going to divide both sides by pi. This pi and pi is gone. So therefore, our radius uh, r square turns out to be equal to 1. Now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking the square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, our radius uh, lowercase r turns out to be one uh, unit. So thus our radius uh, r turns out to be equal to one. And now in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, these uh, points of tangency E and F, as you can see. And now let's recall the crucial fact, the centers and the point of tangency are uh, collinear. So no wonder all these points E, the center O, this uh, center P and this uh, point F uh, lie on the very same line. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this point uh, G with the uh, point H. And once again, let's recall this crucial factor. These uh, points of tangency and this uh, center lie on the very same uh, line. And now let's recall the circular theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder all these angles are going to be 90 degrees each, since uh, these are uh, our tangent lines, and these are uh, our uh, radii. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this is the radius uh, of this circle. Likewise, uh, this is the radius as well. We know the radius is 1, so therefore this is going to be 1 and 1 as well. And likewise, uh, this radius is 1 and this radius is 1 as well. So therefore, uh, this uh, total uh, length of this uh, EF is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is going to give us uh, 4 units. And we know that this side length of this rectangle a, B is equal to this length uh, EF. We know this uh, length is 4. So therefore, A, B length uh, has got to be 4 units as well. And now let's make an observation. This segment uh, HT is equal to the radius uh, of this uh, circle. And we know our radius is 1. So this uh, HT length uh, is going to be 1 unit. And likewise, uh, this QG is the radius of the circle as well and this is uh, one unit as well and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, TQ length 
and in this uh, next step I have connected uh, these uh, centers uh, P and uh, Q and we know the fact uh, that these uh, centers uh, and this point of tangency are collinear and now we know that this is the radius of this circle so this has got to be one likewise uh, this is a radius as well so this is going to be one as well so therefore uh, this whole uh, PQ length is going to be one plus one is going to make uh, two units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, TPQ and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, this uh, is our hypotenuse whereas uh, this one and uh, this one are our uh, other two legs so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, t q whole square plus uh, one square equals to two square let's go ahead and separate one from both sides this is gone so therefore t q square turns out to be equal to three i'm going to undo this square by taking square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our this segment uh, t q length uh, turns out to be square root of three units so therefore uh, our this segment uh, t q length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, three and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, length uh, h g is going to be the sum of these individual lengths uh, one plus square root of three plus one if we add all these uh, segment lengths that is going to be equal to two plus uh, square root of three and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, side length uh, of this rectangle is going to be equal to this uh, hg length and we know this length uh, is uh, 2 plus square root of 3 so therefore this uh, side uh, ad length is going to be 2 plus uh, square root of 3 units as well so thus we figured out the side lengths uh, of this rectangle as 4 and 2 plus uh, square root of 3 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, rectangle abcd and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula area equals to length uh, times the width and in our case the length is 4 and the width is 2 plus square root of 3 so therefore this uh, rectangle area is going to be 4 times uh, 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 and now we are going to distribute so that is going to give us uh, 8 uh, plus uh, 4 times square root of uh, 3 and here's our final step let's recall this equation once again the yellow shaded area is going to be equal to the rectangle uh, ABCD area minus 3 times the circle area and we have already calculated this rectangle area over here so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation so our rectangle area is uh, 8 plus uh, 4 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 3 times uh, the circle uh, area is pi so I'm going to multiply by pi over here. So thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be 8 uh, plus 4 times square root of 3 minus uh, 3 pi square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 5.5 square units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.